same thing again? Okay. One, two, three. Are <laughs> you count down? So you can't do that you are doing the same one. Hi guys, I'm Mariam. Welcome to the review. Today we're at the cakery and we'll be trying a bunch of fun stuff, some cakes, some waffles. We'll be speaking to Ellie, the owner. So let's get right into it. quite often actually when I was in school and I was obsessed with their cheesecakes and I used to always see Ellie behind the counter or you know in that little kitchen area and I always wanted to know how she started it and why she did how she got this going so how did you get into baking like what started that definitely my mum yeah? yeah some of my earliest I mean it's the typical thing isn't it but some of my <laughs> earliest memories are with because I'm an only child as well and my mum was a stay-at-home mum, so I used to spend an awful lot of time in the kitchen with her, and okay. she would bake. She's a professional baker and confectioner, you know, she can okay. do Okay, I understand it now. Yeah. You know how professionals, they have this yeah. way of making things look really easy. I used I'm to sorry, do just a lot of baking. You there, but if I watched you bake, I would probably be thinking the same thing, though. <laughs> so, no, 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 I'm a very enthusiastic amateur. Yeah. So I'm this is... Okay. So first off, we tried the passion Victoria sandwich and it genuinely blew me away. The sweetness of it, the lightness, the tanginess in the passion, there's a cream layer in between. All those combinations just work really, really well. I think some friends of ours came around for dinner mm -hmm. and I obviously I've made dinner, which I don't like doing. <laughs> uh, but I do enjoy the sweet thing. I'm one of those people, yeah, I, always, yeah. I always start with the dessert. Oh really? No, not physically to eat, but you know, when you I'm like making, making it, it. Okay, okay. I always make it first because it's yeah. what makes me the happiest. Um, so then they'd, they'd come round and they said, oh, this is, this is great, you yeah. should try it. So what were the cakes that you had? Like what kind of? So like, the, Victoria's, I think probably the squidgy, brownies, scones, oh, and upside scones? down. We do. Oh. You have to have to get them fresh though, otherwise they're, they're dreadful the next day. Yeah. No, really? Yeah, but oh. you, you need to call and say I want scones. Oh, and you then we'll make that. Yeah, okay, and then okay, we'll okay, make okay. them for you. Okay, I'm getting it for right, sure. Right. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you after this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have to lose? Th that's a good thing. This one is marginally healthier than the other one. It's flourless. Really? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well look, that is full of fat and sugar, so... <laughs> I could spend all day talking to you about how great this next cake is, but my reaction alone speaks for the squeegee chocolate roulade. So this cake mm -hmm. is a, it's a squeegee chocolate roulade. It's a take on, um, on Delia Smith's recipes. Okay. Because she's just so amazing. Yeah. So this is like powdered sugar on top? Obviously. Yes. Okay. But then the sponge itself is just... Um, eggs and sugar and cocoa. That's it? Yeah. Okay. Which is, it means it's really, really light. And then there's chocolate mousse and fresh cream in the middle. Okay. Let's try yes. it. <laughs> well, this is, one of, this is one of our best sellers. Okay. Um, so, I'm, I'm fairly confident that you'll like it. I'm sure I love it. I don't think there's been anything that I haven't enjoyed. Okay. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? So good. <laughs> it's yeah. not that sweet. Yeah. That's what I love about it. Because mm. I can't handle too much sweet. So there's no sugar in the fresh cream. And it's, then uh, the chocolate mousse. And actually there's, there's no sugar in the chocolate mousse either. Except of course the chocolate, which has naturally got sugar in it. I'm just going to go in for another yeah. bite. Yeah. But this... <laughs> <laughs> Would you like some? Yeah, <laughs> mm. You should try it now. This is so yeah. good. Oh, it's so light. I can't remember how light yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's a really good combination, isn't it? Yeah. I could probably eat this, like a half of it, in one sitting. <laughs> Easily. Yeah, I'm not, well, yeah, I'm not sure you'd be able to do that. It's what brought you here? Well, this is very embarrassing. But it's, it, luckily I've shared it with my fellow teachers and, okay. and most of my students realize mm -hmm. that I'm an idiot as well. Um, but I apply, I've always wanted to go to South America. And so when I applied for the job, I thought I was applying to Columbia International School. Oh no, I see where school. this is going. <laughs> and 
it never struck me that there'd be a place called Colombo. I mean, why would you have two places in the world that are so similarly named? Yeah. <laughs> and look, and of course, once I went for the interview, when yeah. they said, well, well, Sri Lanka, I was like, I see not where South I America. Missed <laughs> okay. But, um, anyway, but that's I mean, so great. I mean, you ended yeah. up living here, started your own business. I yes, guess. met husband. Ex you met him here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was teaching at the school when I, when I came to oh, teach. Oh, you were both teachers? Yeah. So cute. Yes. yes. So it's, it's very serendipitous. You know, Sri Lanka is all about serendipity, isn't it? So that is it, very it's, true. It's really yeah. true. You know, my idiocy uh, yeah. has led me here, but I'm very I happy. mean, is it really idiocy if it was fate? Yeah. You know? <laughs> This is just going to be yes. cue we that. We don't have any cake at all. <laughs> That's not quite true, is it? We want to get it on. We're looking to other people. We don't get it that when you give it to us. You can actually give it to us. You can't have it anytime, though. Yes, but we don't let us. <laughs> <laughs> but then you're also lucky because, I mean, too much sugar can be bad. This will never happen. I don't. <laughs> really? Are you massively deprived? Yes. But yeah, they're horribly neglected and deprived. <laughs> yes. Not at yeah. all. That actually shows a lot of love. You may be understanding later on. I st I'm still trying with my own parents, but like, hopefully you'll get that before I do. Yeah. So this is one of our cheesecakes. Okay. Cheesecakes are our best sellers. Okay. Um, we started off making probably something like, we, we make five cheesecakes in one lot, and we used to do it pro probably every other day. This is the beginning? At the beginning. Okay. And now we make 10 cheesecakes every day. That is. Because of the variety we have, yeah. I think we've got like eight. Eight-ish varieties of cheesecake. Yeah. So this is the one. Um, this is one that's really popular. It's called the dolce de leche because it's like a soft caramel. So it's quite weird because you'd expect yeah. it to be incredibly sweet because yeah. it's a caramel cheesecake. Is it not? But it's not. It really? Doesn't it doesn't taste that sweet. Okay, you can that's see. one thing I actually love about your cakes that it's not too sweet. You know, you can actually have a good slice. Yeah. And it's you don't feel sick afterwards. Not gonna try it. I know what it tastes like. It is really nice, and, I'm, yeah. and a, um, it's one of my favorite cheesecakes as well. Let's try it. How is it? Nice. It's nice. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you use the word mm. cinnamon. <laughs> mm. This is heavier, but so good, and it's not that sweet. It's not, yeah. Too. You'd ex I say you'd expect it to be because it's caramel, but it's not. It's yeah, it's a really nice cheesecake. And actually, I don't even get. That, okay, that's like an aftertaste. No caramel, mm. but it's not overpowering at all. When obviously when I look at it, I was like, oh my god, it's gonna be so sweet, yeah. so much caramel. But it's not at all. Mm. It's really really nice. I when did you start like branching out into other different types of cheesecakes? Um, I don't know. It sort of comes gradually. But see, you know, my husband's quite creative, so he he often comes up with ideas for things. So he he's, he comes up with these sort of creative ideas, yeah. and then he asks me whether I think I like them or not. And sometimes I'm like. Yeah, and then other times I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> What's been one of the best suggestions he's been able to give you? The passion and raspberry cake. He came up with that? Yeah. Nice. And then this one who came up with? I can't remember. I think that was probably me because I like, I like caramel. Nice. Yeah. But, yeah. You, but most of these ideas are definitely my husband's not. Okay. not mine. So he's like the innovator. Yeah. Yeah. You yes. bring it to life. Whereas I, I do it. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I do the work. Yeah. He does the yeah. Well, he wouldn't be here if not for you. So. <laughs> yes. yeah. That's well, amazing. definitely the shop. I mean, he was the one who wanted to open a shop. I would have been perfectly happy with the, the market stall still. Really? So I'm, I'm very risk averse. Yeah. Um, but but I he mean, said look, maybe at, we should. look at where you are. But it's full yeah. of literally stall in a yeah. market, not knowing, you know, is it gonna go well? Is it gonna go bad? And now you're here. So that's been it. It's been such an amazing day. We got to try some amazing cakes. My favorite, in particular, was the. Passion Fruit Victoria Sandwich. If you ever come here, please try it out. Amazing. And it was such a delight to talk to Ellie and her entire family. Such sweet people. And we got a, you know, gist of how it all started. Make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification so you can see our videos as soon as they come out. And make sure to check out all our socials down below. And thank you for watching and see you at the next review.